friend who wanted me to be a macrobiotic. Are you familiar with this? He's, they don't eat meat, sugar, preservatives, white flour, eggs, or dairy products. My friend looked very pale and tired. I figured she was exhausted from looking for something to eat. I went to one of those weightlifting places. It was disgusting. You go in, everyone in the place is chained to those machines. They're all going, <laughs> Jeez, if you have to pick something up, anything, and it caused you to go, <laughs> put it down. I just came from the hair poofing room. And is it, is it weird? You know how sometimes you're not even in front of a mirror and you just all of a sudden have a sense that your hair is involved in an unauthorized activity? <laughs> And I have weird hair, which is why I don't dress up fancy, because I have weird hair. If I dress up, people just go, ew, look at her head. <laughs> this way here, it's more of a total look, and no one can really put their finger on what they think is wrong. I bought a trampoline from my backyard. So now whenever I'm home, I put on Helen Reddy, I am woman really loud, and go out and jump. <laughs> it's true. My neighbors think I'm really weird, because they don't know that I have a trampoline. They just know they see me over the fence every few seconds. Look, you guys, you know, if you have fat thighs, what you want to do is sit on your legs so you can get that full expansion. Good move there. I happen to have huge fat thighs and a huge butt, and I know that because my neighbors have complained. They say their kids wake up at night crying about it. I go, Mommy, we saw that girl again today. Over the fence, honey? Yeah, just for a second. <laughs> Been having those weird dreams at night, you know, the naked dream? Great, I'm the only one who has it, thank you. <laughs> no, you know that dream where in the dream you're like out to dinner with friends or something and you drop your napkin and look down and realize, I don't believe it. I am completely naked. And no one has said anything? Isn't that kind of weird? I always do something brilliant, like I panic and take the bus home. <laughs> I'll be on the bus and go see like a donut place. Go, geez, I could do with a good donut about now. <laughs> be in the donut place, yeah, I'd like a jelly filled, a honey glazed, a chocolate. I don't believe it. <laughs> I am completely naked. <laughs> Just a naked thought, no pressure. I don't think it's that important how people look. I think it's more important how you feel, you know? So I've been trying to work out, sort of. Actually, for me, I get exercise because my car doesn't have power steering, so I can actually lose weight while parking. <laughs> Can't really drive a car without power steering? Isn't it hard to turn the wheel? Sometimes I'll be going to, like, a friend's house and accidentally go past. I just go, well, then forget it. I'll go another time. <laughs> I couldn't possibly turn the wheel and hang out. I'm not a good driver, actually. And I know that I'm not a good driver, by the way. I don't need anyone else's help to know. People have a tendency to honk and yell. Do they think they're helping? People honk at me, it makes me have to crash into their car. I don't want to, I have to. It's not easy being a bad driver. Anyways, cops pick on me. One thing I got pulled over for, this is so stupid, was for wearing my Walkman while driving. Now, did you know that was illegal? Okay, so did I, but... <laughs> I'd never been told by a cop before. And, and the thing is with mine, I couldn't act like I wasn't wearing it because it got those big orange Nerf balls on the ears. <laughs> but the guy yelled at me. I went to ask him a question. He goes, get back in the car. Oh yeah, I am a big, huge criminal. Stop it, I was wearing my Walkman. What am I gonna get out of the car and make other drivers wear my Walkman? Ooh, I'm a crime wave. Catch me while you can. <laughs> I decided I'm just gonna start wearing Nerf balls as a decoy. Some cop pulls me over. No, sir, officer. Nerf balls. <laughs> Want to just check your little book there, see if that's illegal? Nerf balls. My parents, are, they got kind of carried away with the letter P when they were naming the kids in our family. There's me, Paula, and then there's Peggy and Patty and my brother, Jimmy. Spell with a silent P. <laughs> and of course, my youngest sister, Pinata who was actually beaten to death by a gang of festive Mexicans. <laughs> my mom was one of those real angry moms. You know the kind that get mad at absolutely everything? One time I knocked a Flintstones glass off the kitchen table, she said, well, damn it, we can't have nice things. 